The following is a presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And by goodness, does it feel good to finally be live again after uh, what's been a very interesting week here at the Retro Sports Network World Headquarters. My name is Ron Juckett, and eventually you're going to see an American League West battle on Wednesday, May 10th, 1978, between the Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox, which was about the third different thing I had planned on for this and on Tomorrow, you'll see the Saturday game because for some reason I picked four games this week and only going to do three uh, between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers from Dodger Stadium. So those are the two live games this week. You got the tape game yesterday. Why are we choosing this? Well, the White Sox have opened up 14-9 and nine and are only a game out of first place from the California Angels. Our dear friend Baseball Demos, of course, is doing the 77 Shy Sox season, and they contended for most of the year. And so in 77, Larry Doby is running the show this year for the White Sox, and they're right there. This really could be a five-team race in the American League West. Minnesota 16-14, and 14, but only two and a half out, as no one is really running away with anything. And it's a divisional game. So, it's yes, we took off a Yankee game. I know, right? And so we're going to get the Twins instead. So there you have it. It's the White Sox and the Twins next on Retro Sports Network. As Retro Sports Network presents the 1978 Major League Baseball replay. This afternoon, live from Comiskey Park in Chicago, it's the Chicago White Sox and Rich Wortham against Erickson and the Minnesota Twins. Brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best podcast on the Internet for your sports simulations and replay needs. Go to DigitalDice.com today. We hope to tape tomorrow on Thursday to give you a new show. And as we bring you into the field... I look to my chat and see one person there. So we won't say hi to anybody until we actually can see you. Uh, excellent. Is the stream thingy? That's good. All right. Lorenzo, some of us are lurking. How you doing, Lorenzo? Wow. The screen print on that chat's pretty gosh darn small. I'm doing fine. How are you? Are you chasing around virtual spaceships today? Uh, if you missed, we did not live stream yesterday, Lorenzo. That game is already up on YouTube. Uh, but we will be live streaming tomorrow at our normal time. And Sunday, we'll have a football playoff game for you. Playoff game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots in the AFC Divisional Round. All right. Rich Wortham does not have a record. And a 405 ER8. All right. Yep. And he's installing some seasons. Lorenzo is from Dave's great baseball game. Wortham making has made one start. He, he became available last week. He pitched six and two thirds innings against Milwaukee. Eight hits, three runs, all earned. Not a, a home run, no decision. He walked three and struck out three. And as an ERA. Of 4.05 in the real year, three and two, with an ERA of 3.05, and control is not going to be a big thing with him. He walked 23 in 59 innings and struck out 25. Willie Norwood will lead off for the Twins in left field. Bombo Rivera, who is my best friend and yours, and got everyone. And remember, in the metropolitan Minneapolis St. Paul area, a free TurboTax CD. What you do with a TurboTax CD in 1978, I have no idea, but they have one now. Disco Dan Ford will bat third and play center field. No Rod Carew in the lineup today. Jerry Morales is the DH cleaning up. Craig Cusick takes uh, Mr. Carew's spot at first base and will bat fifth. Roy Smalley, the shortstop, will bat sixth. Larry Wolf, the third baseman, will go seventh. Bob Randall at second will bat eighth, and Glenn Borgman behind the plate will bat ninth. Roger Erickson, I was drawing a blank. I knew it wasn't Scott. 
can throw a complete game. He's got 130 pitches. The White Sox, as we said, have started really strong at 14 and 9. Bob Molinaro was a four and a six in left. Chet Lemon an eight and a seven in center. And Bobby Bonds, how you doing, DJ John? Good morning from Los Angeles. Bobby Bonds, before he gets traded to the Rangers, is a seven and nine in right. Eric Soderheim is a five at third. Don Kessinger is a six at short. George Orta. Today we would pronounce it Jorge, but in 78 it was George Orta. He's a five at second. Lamar Johnson is a five at first. And Bill Nahortney is a five and a four behind the plate. Wortham has a five range, so average and doesn't make an error. How's the audio for this, guys? A new, little bit of a new setup here. Man, the sprint... The print on that chat is tiny. And now, sounds good to me. Okay. And now, um, what was I going to say? If you have a Twitch Prime account, you can claim free loot off my channel. So, have at it. So, Willie Norwood at 178. No homers and 6 RBI. This is going to go a little faster. The processor really, really is fast. Thank you. We'll talk a little bit about the new setup as we move right along. This is the first live stream. Uh, there's a game up on YouTube from yesterday uh, that I did. Uh, Kansas City and Boston. Typical Red Sox game. Norwood strikes out. Wortham got him on a 2-2 fastball just below the belt. Yep, it's all about tweaking right now for sure. Uh uh, did I tell you that Wortham is a fly ball pitcher? I don't think I did. Fastball, fly ball, 88 miles an hour. And that's as good as it gets. I want to slow down the video here. So bear with me. Here, we'll try that. Mambo Rivera at 320, a home run. You knew he hit that against the Yankees. And four RBI. Wortham could go a complete game. Here's the pitch. Got him! Struck him out on a 3-2 fastball. Swung on and missed. That's two for Wortham. Game audio isn't too loud behind me, is it? When it first came out, I really had to turn it down. So if it's too loud behind me... The crowd noise is low. Okay, I might turn that back up. Too low or just right? Dan Ford at 246, five homers, and 22 RBI. You got to do it with the baseball game. The football game just doesn't give you enough crowd noise to do it. Wortham deals. And Ford, ground ball to Johnson, takes it the bag himself, and that will retire the side. The Twins go down in order, half an inning in the books. Minnesota nothing. Here come the Shy Sox. But first, let me tell you about on a 1 to 10 3. All right, so was that just right? Too low? I need somebody by the name of Goldilocks to follow me. That would be perfect. Well, you look at that. Let me tell you about Roger Erickson, who's lost his last four starts. This is start number eight for him. He is 1 in 4 on the year. With a 613 ERA. No, Lorenzo, that's fine. Don't change your name. Don't change your name. His last start against Baltimore was one that he would like to forget. All right, I'll move it up after I'm done with the introducing players. Two and two thirds innings on May 6th. He allowed eight hits, he allowed eight runs. Ouch. He all of them were earned. He walked five and struck out one. So in 47 innings, my audio is okay, right? Uh, 52 hits, 37 runs, 32 of those earned, four homers. He has walked 19 and struck out 29. We've not had Chicago on yet, so let's go through the White Sox lineup. Ralph Gar. Is your DH? He will lead it off. Don Kessinger is batting second at short. J George Orta at second will bat third. Bobby Bonds cleans up and right. I believe they got called to Washington in the trade with Texas. Lamar Johnson at first will bat fifth. Chet Lemon, who's hitting 468 
and leads the majors in batting average, will bat sixth. Bob Bolinaro in left will bat seventh. Eric Soderheim at third will bat eighth. And Nohordney, the catcher, will bat ninth. Wortham threw 16 pitches in his half of the first inning. All right. All right. We'll try that. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. All right. So everything's been cranked up just a little bit. Ralph Gar is at 405. Second in Major League Baseball in hitting. 30 for 74. Two homers and seven RBI. Defensively for the Twins. Norwood is seven and six and left. Dan four to four and a five in center. Bombo Rivera is a seven and nine in right. Larry Wolf is a five at third. Uh, Roy Smalley is an eight at short. Bob Randall is a seven at second, and Craig Cusick is a three at thir- at first. Glenn Borgman a four and a nine behind the plate. Lorenzo asks, "What is the setting to get the end of inning recap?" And let's see if we can find that. Let's see. I have pitch speed, pitch count, great poor play icon, pop up play result, post play ball marker, ejection, injury managers. Don't do a dual monitor because you're on screen, too. Team uniform with logo. On deck hitter, current weather. I think it's in the play-by-play. Yep. Check inning recap. I'll leave that on the screen for a moment. I have batter comments, new pitcher comments, base runner situation, inning recap, homer distance. Those are what I have checked. I do not have checked short play-by-play or team color. And the size I have is a 9. So you got it? And I don't worry about how fast or slow the play-by-play speed is because I'm not reading that. I'm going off the uh, the chalkboard. So there you have it, Lorenzo. Make sure that in play-by-play, inning recap is checked. Okay? All right. Oh, the narrator? You just got make sure your narrator is turned on. Or invite me over and I'll just narrate all your games for you. Ralph Carr, I told you, gave you all the specifics for. Erickson can go 130 pitches. Carr is not going to bunt, and he strikes out. Erickson got him to swing and miss on an 0-2 pitch at 80. He's a fastball pitcher. He does not favor the ground ball or the fly ball, and he tops out at 87. Is everything copacetic? Everything's running on the graphics card. How about that? Yeah, and the processor's going. Oh, this is really easy, Ron. Kessinger at 288, a homer and two RBI. 59 at bats. 24th game for the White Sox, and there's a little liner in the center field. Ford will pick it up and throw it back in, and that's the first hit for anybody in the ball game. Mr. Orta. Looking very dapper in what I think are just hideous White Sox uniforms. 333, two homers and 20 RBI. This, by the way, if anybody asks, is the default picture of old Comiskey that comes with the game. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Kessinger on first. Order ground ball foul first base side and out of play. Count is 0-2. Roger Air doesn't Roger Erickson in that picture look a bit like Greg Br- uh, Bobby Brady? Yeah, just throwing that out there. Even Marcia would approve. Pitch to Orta is a fly ball in the right field. Rivera going back, and that's off the wall. Kessinger will round third. He's going to score. They're going to test out rivera's arm randall cuts it off to throw the plate that's gonna be close but not in time kessinger scores and order has a double and it's one nothing chicago now i hear the fans oh it's the gpu okay bobby bonds at 200 he'll be gone in about a week two homers and 12 rbi may 16th so this is his last week in Chicago before he goes to Texas.
Yeah, Lorenzo says, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Al Red Sox got a Coca-Cola commercial. What does she know? Not much. I identified with Jan. I, I think Jan would be there. How are you doing, Al? So Bonds at the plate. one nothing, one out for the White Sox. Tomorrow noon Eastern. Tell your friends, as it'll be, another Chicago game. The Cubs and the Dodgers from Dodger Stadium. Home sick, and that's right, and he gets to watch. Pitch to Bonds is a liner in the left field that's going to get past Norwood. Orta will score. Bonds is on with a double, and it's 2-0 Chicago. Al, I don't have Discord up and running yet. People want to know where I am. Lamar Johnson at 283, two homers and 13 RBI. Runner on second, one out. And Roger Erickson, who struggled against the Orioles, is a pitcher much better against the White Sox. In fact, Roger and Al might actually share that bucket by the bed. Pitch to Johnson. There's a chopper down to first. Cusick isn't Carew, but he will underhand it to Erickson for the out. And DJ John makes the comment about hoping that Nurse Teresa will nurse him back to health. Bonds on third. Chet Lemon at 468. And that is the best in baseball. Three homers and 22 RBI. Two out. Erickson. Hoping to get out of this with just a two spot on the board. Pitch to Lemon. And there's a little looper into right that's going to fall in front of Rivera. Bonds will trot home. And it's 3-0 here at Comiskey. So a good start for the White Sox. Bob Molinaro at 278, no homers and 5 RBI. No bunt here. Snap throw to first and Lemon's back. Everyone in the 78 replay sat and watched what happened to David Justice in our Patreon game. Excuse me. And made it all the better. So a 1-0 count to Molinaro. Throw to first. Lemon's not going anywhere. You can hit and run, but I wouldn't. Not with two out. Pitch. Ground ball to Smalley. Comes in. Throws to first. And that will, thank you, retire the side. But the White Sox get three runs on four hits and no errors. After one, it's Chicago three, Minnesota nothing. So, Jose Morales, Craig Cusick, and Roy Smalley to face Wortham here in the second. Morales at 111, no homers and an RBI. Wortham's pitch, and here's a line drive to center. Lemon dives and makes the catch. How about that? So, Lemon dove in and gets the grass stain. Weather, by the way, 63 degrees tonight at Comiskey. Right to left winds at 12 miles an hour. So those hot dog wrappers are going from Lamar Johnson to Eric Soderheim. Craig Cusick at 200. No homers and three RBI. So our new followers here on Twitch, Gradendo, 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 okay, and Echo Chambers. Thank you very much. You are followers number 61 and 62. And if you have not attached your Twitch Prime to an account, you can sub to me for free. Thank you, Al. We hope to take another edition of Digital Dice tomorrow after uh, the Dodgers and the Cubs. Um, so... Thank you so much. So in about 45 days, we've gotten 62 followers, and I'm grateful for you all. So, yeah, if you haven't attached that Twitch Prime, you can, and it won't cost you a dime. I uh, gave you Q6 numbers. One out. Wortham's pitch. And there's a ground ball base hit past a diving order, and that will be the first hit for the Twins. Brings up their best hitter in the ball game, Roy Smalley at 325. He's hit four homers. Eight doubles and 18 RBI. Well, Al and Dave are the murderers role of sports sims for sure. And, you know, we're thankful to the creators who have actually created these games and providing such good quality stuff to get our whatever our jonesing is. 
It's really sitting on a nine-game hitting streak, by the way. Pitch from Wortham gets away from the Hordney, and that's a wild pitch, but Cusick is not a wild pitch because Cusick stayed put, so it's a two-and-two two count. Wortham delivers, and there's a ground ball up the middle. It's a 10-game hitting streak for Smalley as Cusick will hold it second. And the Twins have runners on first and second. One out for Larry Wolf at 281. He's overhitting his potential here. No homers and two RBI. Just talk to... Oh, okay. Well, thank you very, very much for the kind words, gentlemen. And welcome to those of you who are just tuning in on a Wednesday afternoon. Normally, it's Tuesday and Thursday, and the Wednesday game is taped. But because this is a new machine, and we will do story time between the mid part of the ball game and tell you about what we got here, uh, we'll just save it for that. Pitch from Wolf to Wolf gets away from the Hordney, and everybody moves up 90. And so Wortham again with a wild pitch, and the count is 2-2. Two and two. So you get gifted a three-run lead in the first, and the thing is don't give it away in the second. George Michael, none of the sports machine variety can agree with that. Last Christmas he gave you his heart, and the next day he returned it for some socks and a bottle of peach schnapps. Ball four. Wolf loads him up on a full count, and Wortham just slams the ball back in the glove. Randall at 380, no homers, and 12 RBI. I believe Al has started a new tournament using the Pro Strategy Football 2020. He can tell you about it in the chat. And I'll read it when he does. Randall at 380. No homers and 12 RBI. Bases are loaded. One out, top the second. And we're not even going to pretend to stick to an hour today. Pitch to Randall. And there's a liner in the right center field. Cusick will score. Smalley scores. Wolf holds at third. And it's 3-2. to two. So Randall with a 2 RBI single. And the lead is almost gone immediately. And I'll bring up Glenn Borgman. A vet with the Twins, how can you tell? The dark blue hat and the pinstripes on the uniform in the picture. Glenn is out 100 with a solo homer. He's 2 for 20. Here is the pitch. Borgman into right field. Bonds will make... No, he won't. It's off the wall. Wolf will score. The game is tied. Randolph around third, orders throw the plate, and Hortney puts on the tag, they got him! So Borgman drives in one with a double, but they get the runner trying to score. So it's three to three with two outs in the second. What is running? Not sure what's running. Graphics card is doing fine. CPU is happier than a pig and poop. I think I got a massive Windows update being downloaded at the same time. Uh, Wortham through nine batters, 44 pitches. An inning and two-thirds, four hits, a walk, and two strikeouts, including one of Willie Norwood. So the lead is gone. We're tied at three. Pitch to Norwood, ball four. And so he's gone from the penthouse to the outhouse, has Wortham here in the second. And that brings up Bombo Rivera, who also struck out to start the ball game. Pitch from Wortham, and that gets away from the Hordney, and everybody goes up 90 again. So a third wild pitch in the inning, although only two account. And Wortham has kind of lost his pace, place on the script here. So two and two, and two in scoring position, Borgman and Norwood. Wortham deals. Ground ball to Johnson. Takes it to first himself, and that will retire the side. The Twinkies get three runs on four hits, and they're all earned. No errors. An inning and a half. Minnesota three, Chicago three. It'll be Soderheim leading off for the White Sox here. I wanted to make sure, since it's an American League West game, that you can actually see the American League West standings. We'll start there. California 17-10, and 10, and the Shy Sox are 14-9, and nine, a game back. So they've won seven of their last ten, 
Then it's Kansas City two back. Texas and Minnesota at two and a half. Minnesota starting to fade. Seattle is 15 and 17. Would you believe that? Boston, a half game up on the Yankees, who've won three straight. Baltimore, Milwaukee, Toronto, and Detroit. Kind of a close horse race. And you can make sure that both Affirmed and Aladar are safe in Baltimore for the Preakness and watching with us this afternoon. National League, you're going to see why the Dodgers are on tomorrow. They're 16-11 and 11 in a two-game lead over Cincinnati with Houston two and a half back. Pittsburgh has won seven straight, nine of their last ten. But it's the Cubs who are playing 500 ball, 14-12. and 12. They're five back, and that's why the Cubs and the Dodgers get the Saturday slot. Chicago also has a run differential of nine. Not your check of the standings. Soderheim at 272, two homers and 19 RBI. Erickson deals, and that's a pop-up in the right. Rivera for the out, one away. For the Hordney. Bill at 179 and five RBI. Pitch from Erickson. Struck him out. A 1-2 on the inside corner. He was looking for something besides a fastball and got one. So through nine batters, Erickson, 29 pitches, an ending in two-thirds. Four hits and two strikeouts. Gar struck out to start the ball game. 3-3, three, three, two out, bottom of the second. Yep, we'll pick up the pace in a minute. Pitch to Gar, right back to Erickson. Over to Cusick, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors after two. Minnesota three, Chicago three. So Ford, Morales, and Cusick to face Wortham in the third. Ford 0 for 1. Round ball to Soderholm over to first in time. Wortham needs a quick inning. That was actually a one pitch at bat. Morales is 0 for 1. Jose, a 314 real live hitter, hitting 105 in the replay. Pitch. And there's a ground ball base hit left side in the hole. And so that's a single. And so a one out hit. That's the fifth for the Twins. The White Sox have four. Craig Cusick has a single and scored in the second. Wortham's pitch popped up left side. Soderholm. Two out. Roy Smalley now on a 10-game hitting streak. Smalley singled and scored. Remember, Bob Randall had the big two-run single. And then Borgman had the double. But they could not take the lead. Wortham. Ground ball to first. Johnson to the bag. And that will retire the side. No runs. A hit. The runners left on. No errors. Two and a half down. Minnesota three. Chicago three. So Kessinger, Ora, and Bonds to face Erickson here in the bottom of the third. Erickson singled and scored in the first. Erickson's pitch. Kessinger did that, not Erickson. Ground ball to Smalley over to first for the out. Now that would be good for Erickson to score on himself. I'll leave you to write your own joke for that. George Ora doubled home Kessinger. And the first and later scored himself. Erickson from the wind. Popped up. Smalley by the bag at second. Has it for the out. Still windy. It is the windy city. And Comiskey was a wind tunnel. I am much more so than Wrigley ever was. Bobby Bonds, by the way, had an RBI double and scored himself in the second. First. In the first. Two out. Pitch from Erickson. Struck him out. Roger got him to swing and a miss on an 87-mile-an-hour fastball, and that will retire the side. Up and down go the side Sox after three. Trips wild, 3-3. Three, three. So Wolf, Randall, and Borgman to face Wortham here in the fourth. Wolf walked and scored. That came in the second. Wortham. Ground ball base hit right side. Bonds will pick it up. And that's the hit. Fourth or sixth hit, rather, for the Twins. Bob Randall had a two RBI single his first time up. 
That was 14 RBI. He only had 21 and 330 at bats. And just to tell you how good the Twins are doing, he's got 14 and 101. So he's got two thirds, two thirds of his RBI and one third of his at bats. And he drumps a bunt down here. Soderheim runs in, order covering, and Randall is retired. So Uncle Ron paid no attention. It's a sack, 5-4 on the card. And that'll bring up Borgman, who had the RBI double. It was Wolf that was thrown out trying to score. One out here in the four. 3-3. Three, three. The Twins and the White Sox on Friday, May, or Wednesday night, May 10th, 1978. Wortham, and there's a liner to left. Molinaro makes the catch for the out. Willie Norwood comes up. He has walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1. Wortham, 18 batters in 3 and 2 thirds innings. 71 pitches, 6 hits. He's walked 2 and struck out 2. I don't know why I picked a Tuesday game. I thought I didn't pick a Saturday game. Until I looked at Saturday and said, oh, yeah, you picked out four games this week. We weren't supposed to. Pitch to Norwood is a liner to Soderheim, and that makes the catch. And he makes the catch. No runs, one hit, no errors. Three and a half down, it's still 3-3. Three, three. So Johnson, Lemon, and Molinaro to face Erickson here in the fourth. Erickson has settled down after that terrible first. Johnson's 0 for 1. And he's 0 for 2 as he flies to right. Rivera makes the catch. One out. Chet Lemon is singled and drove in a run. That came in the first. Now hitting 474. 45 for 95. It's 17 doubles already. Here's the pitch. Fouled back behind the plate. No one will get that. DJ John says, Al, if you're still here, you have joined the ranks of Pusher. Because of you, I bought Glory Days Johnson Boxing. Anthony's game is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Two and two the count. Pitch to Lemon in the right field. Rivera is there for the out. Two away. From Molinaro is 0 for 1. No relation, of course, to Al from Happy Days. But it'd be funny if this game was in Milwaukee, right? Erickson's pitch. Fly ball to right. Rivera in the corner. Makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've played four. 3-3, three, three, still the score. So Rivera 4 to Morales. Bombo is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Wortham is struck out too. And there's a chopper down to Johnson at first. Takes it to the bag himself for the out. And yep, as Al points out in the chat, Glory Days Boxing comes with a great price point. You could do it with PDF. The cards are wonderful. So Anthony's got a winner there. Glory Days Boxing. Al, I think you can put a link in the chat where you can find it part of the sideline strategy family of games. Dan Ford is 0 for 2. Not doing too much disco tonight. Wortham delivers. And there's a ground ball to Johnson again. Second verse, same as the first. Has it for the out. So two out for Morales, who singled his last time up. Story time in a moment here as we hit the top of the fifth. Wortham. Survived that second inning and is now cooking with gas here with two outs in the fifth. There's a ground ball left side base hit. Morales was overdue, and he's now two for three. Brings up Craig Cusick. Has singled and scored. All right, so sidelinestrategy.com shop. If you're watching this on YouTube. And so... Payoff Pitch Baseball. I believe there's a sumo wrestling game there. And, of course, our buddy Anthony Crooks' Glory Days Boxing. Pitch to Cusick. is a ground ball base hit left side. Morales scoots over to third, and the Twins have runners in the corners. Two out. Twins don't want to hear my story. 
Roy Smalley is one for two. Found himself a single and a run scored. And now a 10-game hitting streak. The Hordney and Wortham go out and chat. Smalley in the left field. Molinaro goes back and he's off the wall. Morales scores. Cusick will round third. They're going to hold Smalley at second, and it's 5-3 to three Minnesota. So Smalley with a two-run double. And it's now 5-3 to three Minnesota. Larry Wolf, who has a single, a walk, and a run scored. I'd say they're pretty comparable. Al would be the one that would give a better answer in how the two games compare. And, of course, title about two is out as well. Pitch to Wolf. Struck him out. Wortham shakes the head. 2-2 two -two fastball in the inside corner. Got him looking. The Twins put two more on the board. Three hits, no errors, and they strand one. Halfway home. Minnesota 5, Chicago 3. Okay. This is why what you're seeing right now is one of the reasons why I bought this computer. 38 years ago this week, I got my first ever computer. It was an Apple II. My mother says it was the first Apple. They never sold those except for in kit form. It was an Apple II, and it was paid for by United Cerebral Palsy, although I don't have cerebral palsy. Um, I believe it was $2,500 in 1982 money. It came with 32 kilobytes of RAM and two disk drives, a black and white monitor that was an old TV set to Channel 3, and a thermal printer, which no one ever liked. Okay? This machine is 32 gigs of RAM. <laughs> Six gigabyte video card and a 512 gigabyte hard drive, which is already too small. Uh... Because of insurance reasons, I had to spend an awful lot of money in an awful big hurry. And so this is an MSI Stealth 65. Oh, yeah, GS65 Stealth. And I'm liking it so far. We had to add a keyboard because the touchpad and I are not the best of friends. I can't drag things over. Uh, so we got a keyboard, a new USB hub, and it seems to be working just fine. And so... If you're wondering how much longer I'm going to do this, look, I just spent way too much money on a gaming computer. We're doing this for a while. So thanks to everybody who has subscribed and liked and followed and sent money. It's greatly appreciated, and obviously, we're not going anywhere. And speaking of that, let's get back to the ballgame. Solder home to Hordney and Gar to face Erickson here in the fifth. Eric is 0 for 1. Yeah, we're doing it for the long haul. And, you know, Al loves all the games. And there's a lot to like about Glory Days. Uh, Soder home is 0 for 1. Erickson now trying to hold on to a two-run lead. Pitch is popped in the center field. Ford. Makes the catch for the first out. Here's a true story about Anthony. Bill DeHordney, by the way, struck out his first time up one of the three that Erickson has. Apparently, I've known him for 20 years and didn't realize it. Anybody who's ever played the game front office football, there's quite a rambunctious message board that goes with it. And Anthony, being from both Arizona and Utah, I believe is a BYU fan. So I knew of him, pitched to Nohordney, is into center field. Ford goes back and makes the catch. There's no power here in Chicago. Two out for Gars, now at 395. He struck out. He's 0 for 2. Erickson, by the way, threw 18 batters, four and two-thirds innings, four hits, and three strikeouts. 53 pitches. That's pretty good. Pitch to Gar. Up the middle, that's going to fall in for a base hit in front of Ford, and that's the fifth hit for the White Sox. Here's Kessinger, he's one for two, he's singled and scored. So I apparently 
had friended him on Facebook. You're not realizing that Anthony is not the first name he uses on Facebook. And so Al said, you got to talk to him. You got to talk to him. Okay. Al's the big boxing fan. I would watch Ali fights, of course. And if there was nothing else on a wide world of sports had to fight, I'd watch. But, you know, I'm not the resident boxing expert by in any way, shape, or form. And so I realized in doing my homework to talk with Anthony that I'd known him, that we were already Facebook friends, and in, talk about a small gaming world. And so I just think that's the coolest story, that, you know, you know someone for all these years. And when I went to look at him, how that in the hell do we have 28 mutual friends? I have no idea who you are. Oh, yes, I do, and I've known you for years. And that's a small world. Kessinger, I told you those things. Pitch from Erickson, and there's a ground ball right back to Erickson. Over to Cusick, and that will retire the side. We've played five. Worth them giving me the fatigue warning. Not a surprise. Minnesota five, Chicago three. So the White Sox have only stranded two. Minnesota has stranded five. Bob Randall has a two RBI single on his dance card. Also bunted. So a sack bunt, one for one. Ground ball to order deep in the hole over to Johnson for the out. Glenn Borgman, one for two. A double and an RBI. Can I tell you what the football game is this Sunday? Everything will be back live this week on Twitch. And it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs and New England Patriots in an AFC Divisional playoff that starts at... Noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, right here on Retro Sports Network, Sunday. Go Pats. The winner will host the Seattle Seahawks in two weeks for the AFC Championship game. Can the Pats change a little bit of history? Pitch to Borgman. Ball four. On the YouTube channel exclusively is the 49er and Minnesota NFC Divisional Playoff game. That was a game of interesting game. Willie Norwood is 0 for 2. He's walked and struck out. Wortham in 102 pitches for 27 batters. Five in the third innings, nine hits. He's walked three and struck out three and running out of base runners, essentially. Pitch to Norwood. Ground ball to Kessinger. Will he get anybody? He goes to first. He's got to hurry. He won't get anybody. That's a hit. That ball was just a little bounder in that high grass. And there wasn't anything Kessinger could do. And so Bombo Rivera at the plate. And it's going to be Ron Schuler. Oh, or Jim Willoughby because I hit the wrong button. Oh, Wells. Willoughby making his eighth relief appearance. Willoughby is still persona non grata at Fenway Park in 1978. His last time out was eight days ago. He went three innings against Milwaukee. He's 2-0 and on the year without an earned run average. Against the Brewers, three innings, two hits, and four strikeouts. So 12 innings overall, 9 hits, 2 runs, both unearned, no homers. He's walked 4 and struck out 7. And against the Brewers, he got a win. He's a ground ball pitcher, and the fastball tops out at 85. So runners on 1st and 2nd, 1 out here in the top of the 6th. Rivera is 0 for 3 with the strikeout. And now you know you're really sick when you don't even want to roll dice. Yep, absolutely. Pitch to Rivera. Struck him out on an 0-2 fastball. Nohordney hung on to the foul tip for strike three. Dan Ford is 0-3. for three. And he laces that one in the left field. Borgman around third. Molinaro got a late jump on it. Norwood goes to third. And it's 6-3 to three Minnesota. So every time I think that we're done featuring the Twins in this replay... They suck you back in. Morales is two for three. He is single twice and scored once, and he's got Ford on first, his first hit, 11 for the Twins, and Norwood on third. 
pitch from Willoughby. Struck him out. Got him swinging on a 1-2. A run on two hits, no errors. The Twins strand two. Five and a half in the books. Minnesota now lead 6-3. to three. So Erickson, who's only thrown 57 pitches through five, Orta, Bonds, and Johnson. That sounds like a law firm, doesn't it? Orta, one for two with a double. Fly ball to right. Rivera in the alley will make the catch. Wind still at 12, 59 degrees. And everybody listening to Harry Carey sing. Too early at Harry, too early. Bobby Bonds has a double and an RBI. He's one for two. He's struck out and scored. Pitch from Erickson. In the center field, Ford is there. Have you had scored on Ford lately? I don't think so. Makes the catch two out. Lamar Johnson's 0 for 2. Erickson delivers, and there's a ground ball to Smalley. Over to first, and the White Sox go down in order. Erickson retires the side on seven pitches. Can't do better than that. After six, Minnesota six, Chicago three. So Cusick, two for three. A single twice and scored twice. Will it be in for his first full and complete inning? Got him! He got him on an 0-2 look, and I don't know what he was looking for, and Willoughby has his third strikeout. Brings up the red-hot Roy Smalley. He is 2-for-3. He is singled, doubled, and driven in two. Pitch from Willoughby. Ground ball to third. Bang, bang, or over to first. Johnson's on the bag, and it gets away. So Smalley goes to second, and Soderholm's throw was in the stands. I wonder if that was Chuck Knobloch's mother. Anywho, Smalley on second, one out, and that's the first error of the ball game. Larry Wolf is one for two. He has walked, struck out, and scored. And singled. So the Twins are trying to get to 17 and 14, and they got a runner on. They have left seven on. The White Sox have only left two. Ground ball to Johnson over to first himself for the out. Smalley to third. So two out, top of the seventh. Harry already trying to get that last call of Budweiser in. Bob Randall is one for two. He's got a two RBI single on his dance card. Pitch from Willoughby. And there's a little looper in the left center field. Smalley will score to make it seven to three. That run is unearned. And Randall has a two-hit and three-RBI day. Len Borgman, an RBI double, is walked and scored. One for two. Willoughby's pitch is in the shallow left's right center. Lemons there makes the catch to retire the side. Listen to Harry, everybody. Hi, everybody. Harry Carey here. Thank you so much. No more Budweiser in the stands. Ah. Chet Lemon is one for two. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. He's got himself an RBI single. Erickson cruising right along. 7-3 Minnesota. Seven runs, 12 hits. No errors for Minnesota. They've left eight on. Chicago, three runs, five hits, an error, and they've stranded two. Ball four, good start. Four pitch walk, 87 mile an hour fastball low and away. Molinaro, all for two. They're going to hit and run, and they do. Randall's only play is to first. Cusick on the bag. Lemon moves to second. I to use my Harry in the seventh inning stretch. Oh, yeah, baseball demos. 
Hi, <laughs> Harry Carey here. I'm a Bud Man, a uh, Shy Sox fan and a Bud Man. And Al and David and John are all proud members of Patreon. Eric Soderholm is old for two. And Harry and Skip, at least in my estimation, or at least my impression of both, are kind of the same. Pitch from Stasaderholm in the left field. Norwood in the corner makes the catch for the out. A web gem. War Norwood dove on the track, put a hand against the wall, and let me tell you what. It wasn't padded in 77, and Demos reminds us he's just not a New England Patreon. Well, you could be if you wanted to. No hoarding, he's 0 for 2. With the strikeout, two outs, bottom of the seven. Pitch from Erickson, and there's a chopper right back to Roger over to Cusick. And that's an out, and that will retire the sign. Will it be coming out for his third inning? No relation to Holly. Although I bet if Dave knew who, if um, Jim knew who Holly Willoughby was, he wishes he would be. No runs, no hits, no errors. After seven, if you don't know who Holly, Holly Willoughby is, you look her up. Minnesota seven, Chicago three. And yep, baseball demos on YouTube. Home of the Manic Monday. Speaking of things that you want to look up, you should look him up. Such a great channel, as Al says. Norwood, Rivera, and Ford. In the eighth. If you're wondering, we didn't give you the ballpark effects here at Comiskey. Lefties have a 5% greater uh, average boost here. A 25% home run boost for a lefty. Which is shocking because Comiskey is one of the original places where fly balls went to die. And right-handers have a 1% betting boost, but a minus 24 home run chance. There's a, tw a Twilight Zone show with the fictitious Willoughby. No, Holly's quite real. David, Holly's quite real. And I believe Al has posted the channel if you're watching on Twitch. Willie Norwood is one for three. is singled, walked, and struck out as we start the eighth. Pitch. Ground ball to third. Soderholm over to first for the out. Yep, baseball demos. I knew that wasn't Holly. Look her up, man. Look her up. Bombo Rivera is 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. Nothing, you know, it's not naughty in any way, shape, or form. Just going to say that. Willoughby delivers, and he strikes out Rivera. So that's the fourth strikeout for Willoughby. An 0-2 changeup at the knees. And Rivera has struck out for the third time today. Brings up Dan Ford, one for four with an RBI. Bombo, if you remember in our game against the Yankees in Minnesota, bombed one. Bombo, as uh, John Sterling went, and Bombo goes Bombo. Baseball uh, demo says, I like kids. That's one of us. Just not on YouTube as viewers. I don't mind if they watch. My buddy, my nephew Dylan, by the way, has a new video out. Dylan Wurzler Productions, all one word. Great, great funny stuff. Dikembe Mobambo. Yes. Pitch to Ford, one for four. Ground ball to first. Johnson will underhand it to Willoughby, covering... And that will retire the side. Willoughby's been quite effective. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 7-3 Minnesota. So Gar, Kessinger, in order. Erickson, through 27 batters, is pulling a Greg Maddox, boys and girls. He's only throwing 76 pitches. Seven hits, or seven innings, five hits, three earned runs. That all came in the first. He walked one and struck out three. Gar... Is one for three with a strikeout. Now he's two for four as he rips that one in the right. So that's the six hit for Chicago. Seven runs, 12 hits, no errors for Minnesota. They've left eight on. Chicago, three runs, six hits, and an error. And they've left three on. Kessinger is going to hit in the run here, I think. 
Yep, Gar goes, and it's a pop-up left side wolf, and somebody from Rockford made that pitch catch. If Erickson played football in Minnesota instead of baseball, he would be a Viking. Well, the Vikings could have used him the other day. So Gar on first, and 0-1 count to Kessinger. Erickson deals, struck him out. Roger got him on a fastball, looking one away. Orta, one for three, he's doubled in an RBI. Pitch from Erickson, and there's a ground ball, base hit left side. So runners on first and second for Bobby Bonds. Bobby, before the week is out, you know, I almost made that pun myself. That's why you're here, Dave. Henry Kessinger, yep. Secretary of State. Couldn't do anything. Bonds, who will be Texas bound within a week, has a double. He's one for three. He's driven in a run. He has struck out. Two on Bonds. Ground ball to third. This might be two. Wolf, diving stop. Randall for one. Over to first. And do they turn it? Do they turn it? No. But it really doesn't matter. There's two out. And runners in the corners for Lamar Johnson, who is 0 for 3. But Wolf saves a run. Gar on third. Bonds on first. Erickson deals. Ground ball to Randall. Over to first. And Minnesota gets out of it clean. No runs, two hits, no errors. Chicago strands two. We go to the ninth. Minnesota 7, Chicago 3. So Morales, Cusick, and Smalley. We'll see about how much longer Willoughby's going to go. 35 pitches, 2 and 2 thirds innings, 2 hits, and 4 strikeouts. For Jim Morales, is 2 for 4. He is single twice, scored, and struck out. You know, we actually mentioned your 77 White Sox replay. How far are you... How long are you with that? Pitch to Morales. Struck him out. Willoughby got him, and that's five for Jim. He only struck out 36 in 93 innings. And there is all sorts of gnashing of teeth at Fenway Park at this performance. Here's Cusick, two for four. He singled twice, scored twice, and struck out once. you got to be of a certain age to understand why Jim Willoughby is not Welcome company in Boston. Pitch to Cusick. And there's a slow roller to Kessinger. Over to Johnson for the out. Game 102 of four games set up with Texas once I finish the 2019 World Series. Okay. Garbage cans not included. And remind folks again what engine you're doing. Are you doing that in a history maker or what? Ray Smalley is two for four. Single, double, driven in two, is scored twice, now is a 10-game hitting streak. Inside pitch. Hey, you know, Al, that's what friends are for. Jim Willoughby is a fine individual, smells like lavender. And we've won four World Series. I think we can get over that now. Pitch to Smalley. In the center field, he's gotten himself a base hit. Here's Wolf. One for three, single. <laughs> One for three. A run scored and a walk and a strikeout. So now the game comes. Am I doing my Dion Warwick impersonation? Hey, Dave, that's what friends are for. Rob Wilfong is going to pinch hit. Wilfong, five for 14 on the year, 357. No homers and an RBI. 266 on the real year with a homer and 11 RBI. Willoughby's pitch, and there's a liner in the right center field. Smalley will hold at second. And this came up. Uh, yes, Elton John was part of that song as well. Part of the game that came up on a message board that I got to laugh on to. How long, when you, got, when you just need one out and your pitcher's tired, how long do you sit there and let him try to get that last out? I can't do it. Bob Randall will face Hilaire Negrow, who is 1-1 one one with five saves and an ERA of 186, but it was two batters here. 
Legro is making his ninth appearance, and this time I think if you look at the picture and look at the nick look at the nickname of Lurch, it kind of fits. His last time out was May third, a week ago. With Milwaukee, he went an inning and walked one and struck out two. Nine and two-thirds innings, seven hits, two runs, both earned a home run. He has walked three and struck out seven. Against the Brew Crew, he picked up his fifth save. Al says, a big lead, one out. If a close game, you're going to go to the pen. Well, yeah, it's a case of I really didn't want to make the change, but... You don't want to screw with somebody's stats if you don't need to. I want the out. And this is still winnable for Chicago. Demos had his first range short in official game. You know, that's been in the game for a while. That's not new. 55 degrees and the wind blowing in from right at 7, by the way. Pitch to Randall, who's 2 for 3, ball 4. So Legro extends the inning. Borgman, 1 for 3. Double. Walk. Scored. RBI. Pitch and popped up left side. Kessinger and Soderholm. It's Eric, and Eric will make the catch. No runs, two hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the ninth. The Twins end up stranding 11 7 3, Minnesota. It's Facebook. Okay, I knew I'd read it somewhere. It was funny because I would do the same thing if it was just me. But come on, just get the one out. Scott e or Roger Erickson has only thrown 85 pitches. He'll face Lemon, Molinar, and Soderholm. Chester is one for two. He's got a walk and a single and an RBI. Pitch. And there's a little looper in the left center. That's going to get into no man's land. And the White Sox have their eighth hit. Molinaro is 0 for 3. Who can hit a righty? Alan Bannister, one for five on a year, 224, no homers, need RBI in real life. What happens if the manager makes two mound visits? In a, uh, time will stop, and Rob Manford will show himself to be the android he really is. Pitch to Bannister. Ground ball to Cubbage, who's at third down. Randall for one, over to first. We're going to go around the horn. Yes, we are. Call it two. So Q or Cubbage is at third. He's a five. Two out for Soderholm. Reminder, after the game, we play the rest of the day in baseball for you. Before we say goodbye, Soderholm is 0 for 3. One-sided affair here for the Twins. Erickson going for the complete game into center field. Or popped up behind the bag. Smalley makes the catch. Yeah, I didn't like that comment either. Minnesota's going to win this one rather easily. The Twins win 7-3. And so Roy Smalley and Roger Erickson are... Actually, Erickson's going to be our digital dice MVP. But Smalley, 3 for 5. He scored twice and drove in 2. Randall drove in 3. Chicago had a bunch of people with two hits. Minnesota's hitting 276 as a team. Chicago 308. Erickson goes the distance. Nine innings, eight hits, three runs all earned. No homers. He walked one and struck out four. And he did it on 91 pitches. Wortham pitched meh. Five and a third. Ten hits, six runs all earned. He walked three, struck out three. Willoughby, three and a third innings, four hits a run, and struck out five. And the grow had to come in to face two batters. All right, Al, we're going to play the games the rest of the day in baseball in a second. So the final score here is 7-3 Minnesota. And they go to 17-14. And, and, and it's now time for the Digital Device Post Game Show. Brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best podcast on the web for your sports simulations. And replay needs not a full Wednesday night. Tomorrow, a regular game is on Thursday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Because we're caught up now as the machine is all there. Rest of the day in baseball, Pittsburgh. 
shuts down San Francisco. Burt Blyleven with the shutout, 7 nothing. the final. Glad I didn't play that one. Willie Stargell goes 3 for 5. The Padres go to 13 and 14. They beat the Cubs 3 to 1. Cleveland down Seattle 8 to 6. How about that? Seattle had five errors in that game. Andre Thornton, three hits a homer. He drives in five. Jim Clancy has made the Blue Jays a 500 team. They shut down Oakland 2 0. Seven and a third innings for Clancy. Two hits, eight strikeouts. John Mayberry, two for three with a triple. Expos down the Mets 3 to 2. Rudy May goes to 3 and 3 on the year. Houston goes into Philly and beats him 5 to 2. Uh, Longborg and company walk 10. Cesar Cedeno, 3 for 5, his third homer of the year. Birds beat Boston 5 to 3. Mr. Ripley, not so talented. He goes to 4 and 1, but Jim Rice, 2 for 4, and his 13th home run. Mike Flanagan strikes out 11 and going the distance. Milwaukee 4, Texas 3. The Brewers make four errors in the win. Larry Sorensen goes to 6 and 1. Larry Heisel hits his 11th of the year. Finally, the Dodgers down the Cardinals 4-1. to one. Rick Roden scores a birdie, wins his third of the year. John Denny takes a loss. Ron Say, his fifth of the year. I think I got all the highlights in for the day. Baseball tomorrow will be the Cubs and the Dodgers from Dodger Stadium, noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Thank you to Graydon and Doe, Echo Chambers, my newest followers, and all of you watching out there on Twitch or YouTube. Live tomorrow on Twitch. This will go up on YouTube on Friday, and we'll talk to you then. Have yourself a wonderful afternoon.